Do you know how to create a custom image gallery like this using React and Tailwind? Let's find out how to do that. I'm creating a modern travel guide website where I already added a dynamic package list on the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, please check the i button. Here I like to add an image gallery like this. When you click on the image, it will pop up with a carousal indicator. Here I'm adding a section. Then adding a container where I will add our heading. In our section, let's add a background image using arbitrary values of the BG utility. Inside URL, mention the image path. Then add background node repeat, background cover, and background center. Next, add a dark overlay. Add a text after the heading. Here is our gallery section with background image and overlay. Next build the image gallery part. Here I have a few images in the gallery inside the public directory and also have an array object as gallery inside gallery.json file. Now create a gallery component file inside the component directory. Here creating a structure of the image gallery. Let's import the gallery JSON file and iterate the gallery array using map. Here I'm using gallery data model to iterate the data in a proper structure. Now move this section inside the return. Here I mention the array index as the component key and pass the image details with the path. Add the location name as alt value. Now call this component inside our page. Our image container should be flexed to keep all the images in the middle and more than 5 images will come to the next row. On hover the image will be bigger, for that I am using transform scale with transition. Here it is. Next create the pop-up part. First, I need a react state variable as selected image where I will store the array index of the selected image. Using this index, let's fetch the selected image. Now decorate this part. Here I need a close button, for that I am using SVG icons. You can get hundreds of free SVG icons from webgraphics.com, link in the description. Also add left arrow and right arrow icons. Now decorate these icons accordingly.
Here I also need a react state variable as image pop to show and hide our pop up part. Add our pop up section inside the image pop condition. On click of any image, set the image index to the selected image state variable and also enable the image pop up. Now on click of the close button, disable the image pop. Here it is. Let's enable the arrow buttons. Here I need a function with move type parameter. If the move type is previous button, then check the index position is 0 or not. If it is 0, then assign the last position of the array. Else just decrease the value. Do the same thing for the next button. But check if the index is the last position. If it is true, then set the index as 0. Else just increase the index position. Finally call this function inside onclick event of the button and pass the button type through the parameter. Let's check the last image and the first image. Here we go, it's working fine. Now add a carousal indicator at the bottom. For that I need a nav and iterate all the images from the array. Let's decorate this part. If a particular image is selected, it will go little upward. For that I'm using translate y direction. Like this. Now on click of the image, just assign the index of the image to selected image set variable. Finally show the location name as the pop-up caption. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.